We got some massive news coming out here. The Las Vegas Raiders have released safety Roger Teamer. Uh, and this does not surprise me at this point. Uh, just uh, about half an hour earlier, we also cut Marcus Peters. So we'll go ahead and just talk about both of those together. The video I made earlier was actually me um, talking about the expected release of Marcus Peters. Now it's actually official. But let's go ahead and talk about this. So uh, as you guys know, Roger Teamer was arrested uh, early Sunday morning, late Saturday night. However, you guys want to look at it. He was re uh, he was arrested for a DUI. Uh, he got pulled over because he was speeding. And to me, it's kind of interesting because the Raiders had a home game uh, on on Sunday, which means the Raiders actually got into a, a team hotel, right? Even though it's a home game, uh, you still stay together as a team the night before uh, at the team hotel. And in this instance, you know, Roger Teamer was out. He wasn't at the team hotel. And to me, that's, that's sloppy as hell, right? That is very, very sloppy in my opinion. Uh, I don't know how the, the, the Raiders wouldn't make sure Roger Teamer is in, in the hotel. And at the same time, I don't know why Roger Teamer himself wouldn't know that he has to be at the team hotel. Instead, he was out and he ended up getting arrested and he ended up getting charged with the DUI. Uh, and the Raiders ended up releasing him. Now, to me, I love the fact that the Raiders aren't playing around anymore. Right? They're not going to put up with this shit. They're not going to put up with these guys that... You know, out late at night, the night before the game, like to me, it just doesn't make sense. On top of that, you're driving while under the influence. Now, uh, some people say, you know, maybe he had like a beer or two, right? And I find that hard to believe, to be honest, right? Because I've seen a lot of people defending it, and it's, there's just no way you can defend that, right? You can, you know, you can call an Uber. There's so much more you can do. And this guy's getting paid a, you know, millions of dollars to represent the Raiders, to play, to help. Win this this upcoming game. The guy literally just got activated this past week for the Raiders, right? This guy literally, right, has missed a big portion of the season over the past couple of weeks, and uh, he's he's out doing whatever. And to him, it's just not as important. And the Raiders haven't moved on from him, so I'm very very glad that coach Antonio Pierce is not putting up with this bullshit. All right, he's going to get rid of these guys that don't want to put the effort in. He's going to get rid of these guys that don't want to. Uh, come out and actually try to win football games in what, in my opinion, was the most important game for the Raiders. We had to split one-to-one -one over the last two games. We lost both. I think that's that's probably the end of the season. Maybe not statistically, but to me, I think that's probably the end of the season for the Raiders. And we also cut Marcus Peters. Let's just talk about that a little bit. Uh, it's not surprising that the Raiders cut Marcus Peters. Uh, Vic Tafer reported it yesterday. Uh, we talked about it this morning. I don't want to get into all the, the little details, but uh, basically my take on it this morning was was the effort. Right? The effort by Marcus Peters was not there. Uh, and I feel like as soon as Antonio Pierce kind of talked to him about it, maybe called him out a little bit, and I don't think today was the first time he was called out about it. I think Marcus Peters was called out about this you know, weeks back. Uh, I think when that happened, you know, maybe his attitude shifted a little bit. Maybe his mindset changed a little bit. Uh, something clearly happened, and at that moment, I think Antonio Pierce knew that, hey, we may release this guy. Uh, Vic Tafer reported that the Raiders almost cut him a couple weeks back. Right, The Raiders had talks about possibly moving on from this guy a couple weeks back, and they officially did it today. But it's just crazy to kind of factor all these little things out that are kind of happening. Uh, on one end, Roger Teamer's out drinking and, and doing his thing you know, day before the game, which is crazy to me. On the other end, Marcus Peters, you know, the attitude is kind of there and it's, you know, it's not positive. I'm not sure what it is, you know, why these guys are kind of having this. I know some people are going to blame Antonio Pierce. Apparently not everybody plays up for Pierce and I don't, I don't buy into that. And I think the fact that Antonio Pierce is setting the tone is also a, a positive in itself, right? Set the tone. If you don't want to be here, get the hell out of here. Uh, and, and just get rid of these guys. You know, I'm sure, you know, with Roger Teamer, I'm sure Isaiah Palomar would love to continue to play. Uh, with Marcus Peters, I'm sure, you know, Jacorian Bennett, if, he, if he's healthy, he'd like to play. Tyler Hall, right, is a guy that wants to play. Amik Robertson wants to continue to play. I'm sure these guys are going to love the fact that their numbers are about to now be called to, to step up. Uh, Peter has pretty much played most snaps for the Raiders at that left cornerback position. Uh, I think he did a pretty good job this season, right? I, I know a lot of people are going to turn negative towards Peters at this point. I already see it on social media. I won't do that. Uh, at the end of the day, I think Marcus Peters did help the Raiders in his time here. Yes, 
Uh, because he's not as fluid anymore, he did have plays in which he wasn't able to make. And I think maybe being called out a little bit, maybe his attitude shifted. Uh, maybe the effort kind of came downwards over the past couple of weeks. With that being stated, I think this is positive for the Raiders to move forward. And let's see what the Raiders have in some of these other cornerbacks. I want to see Tyler Hall start and play every single snap. Let's see what we have with this guy. Uh, let's let Chris Smith play a little bit. You know, let's see what the Raiders have with these young guys. So the Raiders have officially cut both Marcus Peters and Roger Teamer. And don't be surprised if we get more moves as we go forward. Don't be surprised if Max Crosby ends up, you know, on the injured reserve out for the rest of the season. But don't be surprised if that ends up happening. And I wouldn't be against it either at this point. I think the long-term health of Max Crosby is way more important than the you know next four weeks remaining or whatever, how many ever games we have left. To me, that does not matter. I think the Raiders need to really think about uh, the player's health long term. Plus, that'll also allow maybe uh, a Tyree Wilson to play, you know, multiple snaps as we kind of go forward. So uh, we'll see what ends up happening as the Raiders kind of go forward. I think we may even release a couple more players. I think the Raiders may make the decision at this point to take the rest of the season. I think it's definitely a real possibility. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.